It's IBC 2022 and we're on the Canford stand in Hall 11 and I'm joined by John. Hi John, how are you doing? Uh, we're doing great, thanks. So John, you're what Canford describes as a lifer, aren't you? I certainly am. How many years is it now? 39. Okay, so <laughs> a big party that Canford are going to lay on for you next year, I've heard. Well, if they're listening, <laughs> I hope they hope so. <laughs> so it's great to be back at IBC. It's yeah. the first time for a couple of years. What have you been up to in that period? Basically doing the what we've always done. Supporting the customers, providing them the product they need when they need it and sorting out any problems they've got where we can. Fantastic. So let's go straight to what we're seeing here in the background here. We've got a, a power distribution panel. Just talk us through what this offers people. Yeah. So the, these power distribution units, we actually developed these for the touring and events industry. Okay. And we just about launched them at the beginning of lockdown okay. and the um, industry died. <laughs> <laughs> However, since the industry has come back, these have proved really popular. Yeah, I bet. The, the idea is that all the connectors are locking. So mm. I see you're going to put that in there through a flyaway case or a touring rack, your connectors aren't going to come out. No, no. Where the standard ones are getting vibration, getting them thrown around trucks, they'll eventually fall out. Yeah. So again, it's a very popular, and even the broadcasters start to pick up on these okay. with the fact of the fixed connector and locking. Yeah, and the overprotection circuits built in and as well. And individual circuit, yeah. Yeah. So all of your metal work, that's, that's made by yourselves, isn't it? Yeah, we have a, a factory down in Portland, in Dorset, and they are responsible for all our metal work, whether it be finished panels, such as terminated panels, or even the metal work for our own products in-house that we manufacture. Right. Okay. So again, in the combine between the two of us, we sort of manufacture various products. Yeah, and then some of the assembly, I think, is made up in Washington as well, at your HQ. Yeah, for example, the termination box here, all the metal work is made down in Portland. The final assembly is made in Portland, but the fiber connector terminations are all done in Washington. Okay, yeah. And we ship down there, down to Portland, who then have reassembled it into the case and ship the case. So it's all good quality, rugged assembly and yeah. built to last, isn't it? It certainly is, yeah. So what other products and interests have you had over the last couple of years? Has there been something that's been, been key? Well, one of the areas was obviously fiber mm. is one of the big mainstays at the moment. And what we've discovered with with these units, they're great for where you've got a like, full-size rack. Okay. But yeah. when it comes to studios where you've got wall racks which are quite shallow, we've developed what we call the compact splice tray. Right. So the idea you can fit that at the back of a rack, mm -hmm. bring in your sorry, bring in your cables, your, term, your install cables, and then using the pre-assembled connectors or mounted on the panels, you can then connect into that box. Right, so it okay. helps reduce the length that the, the has to travel and it shallows the box. Cool. And I can see a big reel of a cable over yeah. there. What, what are what, you talking about here? What we've also done as well, we've actually moved on to develop our own brand of Synthi Cable. Okay, cool. So again, as well, you've got manufacturers, Belden, Draca, Furukawa, Percon. We've actually came up with our own branded. Okay. And that should be arriving in stock imminently. Okay. It should have been in stock, but it got stuck in a container in Felixport. <laughs> As it does. <laughs> As virtually everything else in the country, I think, at that cool. time. So the manufacturing is only half of Camford, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got a whole distribution network as well. Yeah. Who do you give us a, a few examples of who you? But the distribution, yeah, we, we, we distribute the likes of the Sennheisers, micro, microphones, Shure, beer headsets, mm. uh, Neumann. We're doing coarse microphones. Mm. So we, we also do distribute, but we always see the manufacturing as the yeah. key side of the company cool. because it gives us the edge. Yeah. We can provide something that complements the standard yes, product. Absolutely. Something that you could get everywhere, yeah. in which everybody's always sort of looking on the internet for the cheapest price. Yes, but this is made But this is made to measure, custom, just, made yeah. to measure exactly yeah. what the customer's after. Brilliant, John. Thank you very much indeed. So people can find your IBC in Hall 11. If they're not at the show, where can they go to see you? They can see us at canford.co.uk. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed, John. No problem. We're doing a couple of other videos with John here, talking about Brexit, exporting, um, and also the former chairman of Canford as well. So do check out those videos on our channel. And for everything else we're doing at IBC, check out kitplus.com.